gonna be my November love and hate list uh, post. Um, if you follow my blog, which I will link down below, you know that I post my monthly so-called favorites there. But I do it uh, love and hate list because the hate part is the things that I bought that I didn't really, I didn't really like. So. Um, I hope you will like this video. Uh, let's proceed and start with my first product which is the uh, Benefit how to look the best at everything This one um, I got it I got it at Sephora when I attended the psychedelic party with Tony I will link the video below when she explained how she got invited and she invited me and all that so I got this through her recommendation also I saw her video and another youtuber uh, Jack Jack she also raved about about this so much so I decided to just give it a try this is considered a splurge for me already because I don't really buy um, too expensive makeup products I'm more of a drugstore kind of girl so um, since they have the 20% off that day I took advantage of it it's originally 48 and I got it for 38 dollars something and oops it looks like this inside I think that 38 dollars is well worth it I got one two three four five technically I consider this two so I have five products inside first is the professional face primer a lot of uh, YouTube girls also have, have been raving about this one and I was very interested to try it out and so far I'm loving this yes because it's in my <laughs> November love and hate list obviously I'm loving all of this anyway this one is a primer which you put all over your face after you put on your moisturizer you put this on and then your foundation so it basically um, acts like a barrier to cover cover your pores and this also makes uh, your foundation or your make makeup last longer so next one is the hello flawless oxygen wall foundation and i'm in the shade actually this whole uh face kit is in the shade medium it comes in three shades actually i believe it's light or fair then medium and then deep so i am in the middle shade and the medium and I think this matches my my skin color perfectly. I'm using it today. Actually, I'm using the whole thing today. Um, I hope the lighting does justice. Okay, can you see? It's a bit dark on this side. I'm so sorry for that. But anyway, um, I I really love this foundation. It's not oily. It's very easy to blend. It's buildable. So after after I put on my first layer, I can still add another layer without it being so cakey and, and all. So I love this one. Next is the Boing Concealer. It comes in two shades, two and three. Um, I use number two under the eyes to cover up the dark circles. And uh, number three on any blemishes or pimples or dark dark spots that I want to hide so right now I have a few here and I use this on top of it and then to set everything up it's the I'm cute as a bunny honey um, powder foundation I believe so you s after you've put your foundation and concealer you have to set it with a powder to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't smudge or anything at all. So, so far I'm loving this. I think it's worth the $38 that I paid for it. I might get more of their kits, let's see, during this uh, December month. Anyways, next is the Rimmel London uh, Eyeshadow Quad. This is in the shade Urban Flower. I got this at Watson's when they were having their um members only sale at the end of october i believe and it came with this uh, two lipsticks and one nail polish and what's that concealer and everything all of those products 
for $10 only. So it was really worth it and I had to grab it. I took this shade because I, I don't have these shades and I love the... I know that this pink will be a great highlighter. Okay, so what I do is I use this all over the lid and then uh, on the crease I put a I blend a, a bit of the green and then darken the outer corner with this dark brown shade and then last uh, I highlight with the this pink shades I put it here on the brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes I'm not wearing it today but it's, it's the color is a bit similar okay so I love that and then, of course, you've seen this in my shopping district vid uh, haul video recently. Um, I've talked about this already and I've swatched it. I'm using it today. I hope you can see that. Um, it, this one is really the best for me, uh, I believe. It's the best. Um, like what I've said in my shopping haul uh, vi uh, shopping haul no the shopping district haul video i put some on my uh, on the back of my hands and then and then i just blend it you just have to be quick on blending it because it's it dries a bit fast so you have to be quick on blending that on your cheeks and then what I, whatever i have left on the on the back of my hand i actually put it on my lips so it doubles as a lip stain you can leave it like that and just put a gloss over it but for me, you know, I, I opted for a dark lips today as usual. Yeah, and then I got two, two of my NYX lipsticks. I cannot decide. No, I have three lip, lip products actually. I cannot decide which one that I like the best. So I chose to feature the th three of these lipsticks. Um, there's two you've seen in my shopping district haul. Yeah, I've talked about it as well. This is the Black Cherry and Paris. It's, this one is a pinky, pink shade, pink color. Let me swatch it again if you ne haven't seen my video. There you go. It's a very beautiful pink color. And then the Black Cherry, which is a dark dark red burgundy I think is it burgundy I know it's a bit red Lamy color and this one is the Rimmel London lipsticks that came with the eyeshadow quad that I was talking about I got two but I like this color better it's almost the same is it okay this is the black cherry and this is berry queen this is dark, still darker. Yeah, I love dark lipsticks. And last but not the least, my miss, or no, my hate actually. Um, because I do this like hits and misses. So for this month, I actually got it way back in May when we went to Korea. I got this in uh, Nature Republic. It's like one of their, it's like a tooth house or face shop it's all over the place there nature republic is another another brand that's popular in korea and i got it because um this is a, by the way this is the original power argan oil ampule and i've heard and read a lot of good things about argan oil that is good for your hair good for your skin so around that time i was really looking into Argan oils, everything from shampoo to face face products and all. And I got this, but I never really got to use it. I don't know why. I just forgot about it. And then I used it last, last November, this month. After two or three days of using it, I only put it on at night. And after two to three days of using it, I got pimples. And I didn't change anything on my nightly skin routine and I was past my you know my monthly period so this is the only thing that I suspected as a culprit of my pimple so I stopped using it 
and just in time I received my Bella box which my November Bella box I also uh, made a blog post on that I'll link it down below I used um, I received a bio oil in that box so I stopped using this and switched to bio oil and so far yeah I've been using it for a few nights only so I cannot really comment so much but so far it hasn't breaking me out I uh, no pimples or anything like that so this one I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use it again I feel bad because I want the argan oil but I don't know okay so that's it for my November love and hate list uh, I hope this video is not so long and it's not boring for you but yeah if you like it just thumbs up if you don't please don't thumbs down <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to work on my um, video, whatever. I'm still trying to work on it. So please bear with me. I hope you subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.